Hey everybody, final thoughts time for Guilds of London, which I just gotta say, this is probably one of the best multi-use card game examples I can think of. This just works so well um, with the notion of, you know, I've, I've got all these cards, I want to use them for their powers, I want to use them to be able to move my guys around because I need to do that, I want to use them to be able to hire new guys, I want to use them to be able to pay for the other cards that I need to really do and it just all comes together really, really nicely. There's such an explosion of combinatorial possibilities that it, it, the game just feels phenomenal when you've got the right cards in your hand and you've set up to do some really cool thing that lets you recruit a whole bunch of guys while at the same time turning all those guys into points and letting you reclaim all the cards you used to recruit them in the first place all at once. It's just neat. Um, and But you know, it's, it's not necessarily the case that every single round you're going to be just coming up with really awesome card combos. A lot of times you're just going to be using these cards very straightforward to, in a much more straightforward way, get troops on the board and get them moved around because there is a very tight and tense area control race too with first and second place on offer all the time. And uh, it, it just works. I mean, it's, it's a blast with the secret goals you've got, and you try to develop more over the course of the game. It, it plays very, very quickly. Sometimes you have really fast turns where, oh, you know, hey, this turn I just need to replenish, um, you know, draw up cards. Or if you can really ideally set yourself up, you don't have to waste turns drawing lots of cards because you're finding ways to get cards in addition to everything else you're doing because of the areas you're claiming or the special powers you're activating. Ah, it's really, really nice. It looks great. The art is phenomenal. Uh, you know, the, the pieces are really nice. And I like just about everything there is in this game, with one exception. This is really just a problem for me and Jen. This can be a very, very cutthroat game. I mean, there's no choice about it. That's the whole purpose of having these little, what are they called, uh, neutral livermen. They are there specifically to screw your opponent over or to protect yourself from being screwed over because you realize at any given point, if your opponents have them, you need to have some of yourself, kind of like this arms race of, of guys who will allow you to be able to hold on to what you've been able to grab for yourself because it is such a tough fight as you know control over these tiles shifts back and forth as you're building up towards that big moment when, okay, well, the tile's going to get activated, we're going to it and who's actually going to own it? Who's going to use the first, uh, the, the first place and who's going to get the second place and all of that stuff. And man, I, 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 it's early. I mean, we're only halfway through the year, but I would say this is a very, very prime contender for one of the best designed games of the year. And really, and that's not very surprising because the designer, Tony Boydell, who's already a really phenomenal designer. I mean, Snowdonia is amazing. Papercrip Railways is fantastic. I mean, he's really, really good. And he has been honing and refining this game for years now. I mean, I first did a preview of this thing, gosh, it must be three or four years ago at Essen. And the game has only gotten better since then. So it's no surprise that it has really come together and become a phenomenal gameplay experience. And the only thing that makes me hesitate about um, wanting to keep this game is, you know, as, as much as Jen and I enjoy sitting down and just trying to come, all right, these are the cards I've got, these are the things I need to do, how can I bend these cards to my will? How can I come up with the perfect solution that, that squeezes the most out of these things while giving me the biggest footprint on the board and over here and lets me get more special secret goals and gets more um, troops that I can deploy and all that? That's the thing, though. I mean, this is... It's an area control game. It's a borderline war game. It is a skirmish as you are constantly trying to get your troops out or here, um, use special powers to eliminate your opponents, um, use the negotiation to eliminate them. And so I just keep cycling back and forth. I mean, I love the, way, the gameplay of this game, but for me and Jen to be at each other's throats so much and spending so much time trying to find ways. Oh, I know you think you got that guild, but no, you didn't because I'm laying in wait. I'm the last player. Just when you think you're going to do it, I'm just going to swoop in and steal it from you. And, um, and yeah, that's really going to mess with your plans. So I'm really on the fence. The gameplay is so good. I mean, you know, the Gen I are seriously considering keeping this game, which normally we wouldn't. This game has enough. Um, you know, take that. I stole your stuff. I drink your milkshake in it. That we would dismiss it out of hand. But this gameplay, this card management stuff, this multi-use cards are so so good. It is so silky smooth. It so benefits from all the years of development that it's been through. Ah. It's something that, you know, I think Jen and I are going to have to play it again just to see. Um, you know, a big part of it is these. If, if, if there was some other use for these guys, other, I mean, they, they are here for the sole purpose of me moving in and just 
uh, you know, stabbing you in the back um, or protecting myself so that I can't be stabbed in the back. I mean, you know, they have other uses too, but that's, uh, I don't know. I, I, Tony, you have done a phenomenal job. This is an amazing design and I hope it's a big, big hit for you and Taste of Minstrel because it deserves to be. It is so wonderfully put together. Anybody looking for a really, really tight, fun, fast playing Euro with a lot of player interaction should seriously consider it. It's that player interaction that maybe kills it for me and Jen. But I know, you know, it, it's, it's just a game, right? You know, no, no harm, no foul. Uh, you know, what, what, what happens in the Guilds of London stays in the Guilds of London. But still, for me and Jen, having to plot to decide, yeah, I know that's going to be the perfect plot for you. That's why I have to take it from you. It's just a problem for me and Jen. That's a reflection of us. Sorry, Guilds of London. It's not you. It's us. But man, it works so well. This card play is just the bee's knees. And uh, that's it. Uh, that, folks, is Guilds of London. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, please let me know. Apologies for mistakes I made. Hopefully, in spite of any goofs I did here or there, that gives you that run through gives you an idea of what it feels like to play and whether it might be right for you and yours. But otherwise, hope you have a very, very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.